Arborlife specializes in big trees, in confined spaces, difficult trees. We've got a 125 foot giant fir here to cut down to ground level. We only use steel chainsaws. They're reliable, they're well built, or they certainly used to be until we started producing them in China. So for the climbing saw, we use uh, the old steel O2O, which is a one-handed chainsaw, so you can use it with one hand up the tree. So a tree this size can't be straight felled because it would wipe out everything in about five gardens and possibly a few houses. So it has to be taken down in small pieces. It's close to the house and it's got underground services running close to the tree, so we can't be dropping big lumps down. I've got four men on the ground clearing up, so they've got to dodge all the branches that are coming down. On this particular job, we didn't need to lower any of the branches down. There was enough space around the tree to just drop them down. So um, in the morning we took all the branches out of the tree, cut all the branches off so it was down to a pole and at lunchtime the crane arrived and we took the rest of the tree down in about two hours in the afternoon down to ground level. The trouble with this job was the crane operator couldn't see the stem of the tree or me, so he was relying on my groundsman to direct him to get the block and chain down to me. So it required quite a bit of communication. The cake was very tasty, thank you. So as we got lower down the tree, the diameter of the tree got bigger, it was five foot at the base. We needed to change the blade over onto the biggest blade uh, we can put on a still 8.8 chainsaw. We want one clean cut through the stem of the tree with the crane lifting it up. We don't want to be double cutting. For the final cut, the last piece of timber was six tons, which was 
the crane was 27 meters away from the stem of the tree, so we were pushing the limits on lifting capacity. That's why it couldn't lift the stem up, it had to draw it closer to the crane before it could start hoisting it up into the air. All in all, there's 25 tons of timber and brushwood in this tree that we took down. 